Welcome to Marketing Gold. So today I feel I needed to share something with you. So I've been coaching for 20 plus years and uh, previously before someone would turn up for a session and wouldn't really have much information going on in their head. They might have read a book, might have watched a DVD, might have watched something on TV, but pretty much the information was quite limited, um, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, and now it's just off the charts. So there's so much information out there. People were turning up with so much information in their head. It is just unbelievable. And then I've got to try and pick through that and, and say, no, don't worry about that. Uh, that's pretty positive. Don't worry about that. And so it, it makes it extremely uh, difficult. So just had recently Tiger saying not about watching YouTube videos, just hitting golf balls. So that's fine to so from a certain aspect, and then that's not so great from a, another side. So there's always winners and losers in that argument. So a bit that I'm just trying to, so at some point you must have had a go at one of these. So that Rubik's Cube. So ideally you would just move one piece here, one piece to try and match up the colours. But those stickers are a nightmare to get off, weren't they? Absolute nightmare. Couldn't get them off. So you've got to, when you move one, you move like nine. So it's, Exactly the same as a gold string. So I've had a lot of people who've come for a session in front of me, loads of different swing forks, and then they try to attack one thing and not realizing, as you can see in the screen behind you, there's loads of different elements to the gold string. Everything's connected. So you're, if you're changing your swing path, you're potentially changing your angle of attack, you're potentially changing your face angle, you're then changing your strike. So if you think, well, I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to try and do this, you are changing three or four different things. So I just want to do this video to make you aware that that is happening. So you won't move in one dimension, you're moving three dimension. So you are disturbing more than one thing, which then if you I haven't accommodated for that, and you just try to attack that one thing, you don't realize that that's gonna happen, then you can get in a proper mess. And then you have quite a few swing forks on the go. So you try, so from my point of view, I've got as much information, and I translate that to you as simple as possible. So I'm trying to keep it nice and simple, and where you're attacking one thing, but I've worked out before I've got into that, that think, right, if we do this, it's going to affect this, this, and this. So sometimes when you're in a in the process of trying to improve, you might not hit a shot at the target, but you'll hit a different shot. So in the process of changing something, you might hit where you've been hitting it off to the right, slicing off to the right, suddenly you've got a consistent shot to the left, but it's consistent. You've made that changes, which has affected two or three different things but you only want one thing you had to think about. That's why it's quite difficult. So you, so you tick that box and think, right, got that, then move on to the next bit. But if you're watching those videos where they're not necessarily in sync with yourself, what you need, and you're attacking one thing and you don't know those consequences, then that's when you get in trouble. So please, if, if you think, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, then speak to someone, speak to a PGA professional, ask them, book in a session, even if it's just one session, so you haven't got time to do a few in a row. Ideally, you do a plan so you've got the, your ticking boxes and you're, and you're gradually improving. If you want a quick fix, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with a quick fix, but say that. Say that, I just want a tweak. And, and the PGA Pro will, will do that tweak for you and help you out as much as possible without disturbing too many things so you can go out and enjoy that game of golf. You should want to just try and get better. Everyone's trying to get better. But at the moment where there's so much information out there, it's a complicated thing and it's complicating things and it's making it harder for you to get better. So I just wanted to share that. So if, you're at, if you think you're attacking one thing, it doesn't work like that. You're, you're changing three or four things and you need to know the consequences. So the two C's, a, choices and consequences. So thanks for watching. I'm going to give you an update on how I'm progressing with also becoming a better golfer and getting that speed up. Give us a good thumbs up and I'll see you soon.